people, what's going on? Welcome back to another ESL podcast. This is your host, Arsenio, as usual. So grateful. You guys might hear the storms in the background. I do apologize, but baby, it is a rainy and thunder stormy day out here in Bangkok, Thailand. Guys, today is Jaren's and Infinitives uh, 2. All right, so again, guys, Jaren's is I-N-G. Infinitive is to go, to play, to... Okay, you understand the basis of it, but it's so difficult, even for native speakers, even for myself. Because sometimes I would use like this. I like to give people. Now, that's incorrect. You're not supposed to use an infinitive. You're supposed to use a gerund. I like giving people presents. Not I like to give people presents. It's interesting, isn't it? Guys, gerunds are very, gerunds and infinitives, they can confuse people a lot. All right, so I have exercises. I might do the exercise on this podcast, depending on how I'm feeling, as always. But you know what? Let's go over some of these rules. Now, guys, the blog is available at thearseniobuckshow.com. And here we go. I'm I'm just going to label seven of these bad boys right now. When I go shopping, I don't buy anything. I love giving presents. Understanding other people's opinions isn't easy. I find it easy to talk about how I feel. I learn by watching. Nobody wanted to make a decision. And then number seven, two-part conversation. Why did you shout at the waitress? B, to tell her that our food is cold. So guys, here we go. Gerunds, physical activities. With go to talk about physical activities, okay? So here we go. Okay, so with go, with go, with go, with go. When I go shopping, I don't buy anything. Okay, so that signals the physical activity. When you go somewhere, that's the physical activity. You will use the ing, the gerund. The second rule, as the subject of a sentence. So that would be understanding other people's opinions isn't easy. After verbs of liking or disliking. Okay, that's like, I love giving presents. And of course, after prepositions, I learn by watching. By is a preposition. So with we use infinitives after certain verbs like want. Nobody wanted to make the decision. You could use it immediately after adjectives. I find it easy to talk about how I feel. And to explain why somebody does something. Now, the person shouted why to tell her that our food is cold. See, guys, gerunds and infinitives. Again, this, I'm serious, very, very serious about this. You guys should get those rules. Memorize those rules. I know memorizing information isn't the best thing to do. I got it. But please memorize this because... This is going to help you, and it's also going to help me. Because I've actually had so many difficulties using the gerund, the infinitive, the gerund, the infinitive. But now, just by knowing these simple rules, you guys could clean up your writing. Guys, there is a task available at the ArsenioBuckShow.com. Again, these podcasts, in terms of gerunds and stuff, they are relatively short. But the rules is what I was trying to give you guys today in terms of what you can take from this podcast and start using immediately. It's available at thearseniobuckshow.com. So I do hope that you guys go on to that blog, get those rules, copy, paste them onto a piece of paper, and have them handy anytime you are learning English. Guys, as always, this is your host, Arsenio. Over and out.